Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my September favourites. I do these every single month as you can probably tell from the last like three months. Um, I don't really have much to say in this intro other than if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram will be up here. I haven't Instagram in a really long time, but I will get back to it again. But um, yeah, and if you have any video requests, feel free to comment that down below. But I'm just going to get straight into my September favourites. So the first thing that I have been loving is this Voss water bottle. So um, I pretty much didn't care for the water because it's basically just expensive water. But I love, love this bottle. It's really handy. I now take it to my lectures with me. So it's super convenient. And I think, actually, let me get this right. This is 800 ml. So it fits quite a lot. It fits quite a lot. <laughs> it holds quite um, a lot of water. And I really, really do love this. A lot of people, if you go in, over to the um, Voss Instagram or you in or you hashtag Voss. A lot of people do like detox waters and have different fruits in it. I'm probably going to get another one so I can put like lemons and limes in it. But this one I want to kind of strictly. I want to strictly be for water, and I really really love it. It is a glass bottle, so it's super heavy. Not the most obviously compact, but I really really do like this. And if you're someone that struggles to drink um, a lot of water, or you feel like you need to drink a lot of water, I would definitely recommend getting a water bottle, not just a Voss bottle bottle but um just a water bottle in general and then set yourself a goal but i really really do love this um it is kind of overhyped but i really like it the next thing that i have been loving is of course a fragrance so i have been loving the dot by mark jacobs perfume this perfume i never really i never hated it but it wasn't one of my favorites but i really like this i like to use this with other fragrances i think this and mark jacobs um daisy i feel like those two smell really good on me so i like to use this on top of that one well this one first and then that one on top because it's a lighter scent but i really really do like this of course the packaging is absolutely gorgeous but the fragrance is actually really good i'm not completely sure what the notes are i have done a perfume collection where i do speak about the notes so if you want to see that i will link that video in the description box down below but i believe it has a notes of berry um it has kind of like a floral quite a floral scent with a hint of sweetness but more on the floral side yeah but in this video i will leave the notes or you can just check my perfume collection where i do tell you guys the notes but i really like this it lasts really long on my skin it lasts long on my clothes which is again what i really love and yeah it's a really nice perfume despite the flamboyant packaging it's just really difficult to travel with like i would never travel with this thing because it's just so big and the next thing that I have been absolutely loving are these pair of trainers. So these are the Nike Rocher runs, though I just have the black ones and I absolutely love these. Let me zoom up a bit. I absolutely love these. I think they're just so comfortable. They go with practically everything. I wear them with every outfit possible. Um, yeah, and I just really like them just for being comfortable. I don't own a lot of comfortable shoes because most of the time I am wearing boots which have a slight heel on it, but these are the most comfortable trainers that I have come across. They are kind of overhyped and a lot of people don't like them because they are overhyped, but I think if you want something that's comfortable, um, go for those. They're really, really comfortable. They have a ton of different colors, but I really like the black ones because they go with pretty much everything. And I've been basically wearing them every single day um, with every outfit because they go with everything. So now on to beauty favorites. I don't have too many, but I'm just gonna quickly go through this so that this video is not too long. So the first thing that I have been loving is the L'Oreal Super liner perfect slim so this is a felt tip liner and now i'm not a felt tip liner person i particularly like gel liners um and if i don't have a gel liner i will use a liquid um so i alternate between those two but i figured why not try something different so i got this l'oreal um eyeliner and i feel like l'oreal is a trusty brand like if you're not sure about something um go for l'oreal because l'oreal typically has really good products um I think this is around $6.99 or something like that. So it's really inexpensive and I really, really do like it. It's super easy to apply. And um, 
I don't have to worry about my wing because that's one thing I was worried about but the tip is so fine that I can get my wing to how I want it so I really like this so if you're looking for a really good felt tip black liner that doesn't fade I would definitely recommend the L'Oreal Super Liner Perfect Slim the next few things that I have been loving are blushes and from the same brand and they are the Illamascar blushes I have three different types I believe I have the powder blushes I have the velvet and then I also have yeah that's it <laughs> I have the velvet I have one velvet blush and then the rest I have powder blushes so as you can see I have five of these I absolutely love Illamasqua blushes I feel like people don't talk about them enough they're not hyped enough and they definitely should be because they're a really great brand um, I think they're a UK brand I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure they are a UK brand which is probably the reason why a lot of people either don't know the brand or they don't yeah probably the reason why people don't know the brand or they don't feel the need to check them out but they're a really great brand these um I can't I'm not sure what they retail for but um probably around 21.50 18 pounds around that mark there so they're not the cheapest blushes ever but they really have really great pigmentation they have a an extensive color range so if you are you know medium dark skin and you want something that will show up on your skin definitely try out in the mask blushes and they also have stuff to cater for you know lighter skin tones so i have the shade um peach which is a velvet blush so this is a cream to powder blushes which i really like because i feel like cream blushes are not the best for oily skin but this is obviously a cream to powder so it's a powder finish and then i have the shade thrust which is like a kind of purpley pink shade which is the one that i'm actually wearing today um, I have Excites, which is one of my favourite blushes. It looks kind of crazy in the pan, but it looks absolutely amazing on my skin tone. I have Tweak, which is like a bright pink, like a um, hot pink. Then I also have Allure, which is not my favourite one, but it's really nice because this one has a bit of sparkle, whilst the other one, I'm out of focus. I'm back in focus. Um, whilst the other ones... Um, are matte this one is a shimmer so I don't gravitate towards this as much but I really do like Illamasqua blushes and I feel like they should um, they're not getting the recognition I feel like they deserve and then the last thing I want to talk about is a lip, lip combination that I have been really loving which I think I've probably mentioned I feel like I'm out of focus come back to me back in focus so two lip products that i have been gravitating towards and i feel like i've spoken about them a lot already on my channel but i'm just going to put it in this video anyway because i have really been loving um these lip products this month and i have been wearing them every single day and i am wearing it today so it is the milani um lip a more matte lip cream in the shade loved and also the nyx soft matte lip cream in the shade Abu Dhabi so I love these two um, together I like to put Abu Dhabi first and then I like to put loved on top and then I line my lips with a Milani lip pencil in dark coffee so I really really love this if you're kind of my skin tone or darker or a bit lighter I would definitely try these um, lip products they're really great and they're super inexpensive so that is all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it it isn't too long it's about nine minutes which isn't too bad um but that is the end i hope you guys enjoyed it all the products mentioned like always will be listed in the description box down below if you have any video requests feel free to comment and i will see you all in my next video